I'm Tanya Nugent. And the Pacific flowers are in full bloom tonight. Tonight is crowning night in the Miss South Pacific pageant. Now this is a pageant unlike any other on earth. A pageant with a real difference. While pageants in the West are all about bathing suits and beauty, the Miss South Pacific pageant is about intelligence, personality and culture. And the young woman crowned tonight will become an ambassador for the entire region for the next 12 months. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Solomon Island is wearing a traditional outfit that displays all nine provinces of the Solomon Islands. Miss Cook Island's traditional attire hails from the Northern Islands of the Cook Islands. This spectacular, traditionally inspired costume display is the final judging category in a big week for the 11 young women representing 11 Pacific nations in the 2010 Miss South Pacific pageant. An annual event that's grown in significance since it was started in Samoa more than 20 years ago. Papua New Guinea, a country of more than 800 different languages. My name's Rachel Saperi James. I'm from New Hanover in New Island province of Papua New Guinea and I'm the current Miss Papua New Guinea. Our region, we're at a change of uh, development and we're faced with many challenges and the most biggest challenge is to preserve our culture and our heritage in this day and age and I think this, through this pageant, it's a way of uh, encouraging and preserving our culture and our heritage and acknowledging the beauty of our region. Ladies and gentlemen, before you stand role models for the women of the Pacific, each queen uniquely defined by her own cultural identity, beauty, poise and grace. Theme for the Miss South Pacific pageant this year was about women's empowerment and I believe that through the pageant we were given a voice that in, in our region that we normally are not given. All of us girls we drew a research topic out of the hat to research and then give a speech so that was the first uh, judging category so my research topic was um, what do I feel about the statement, education empowers women and equips them with the skills, the knowledge and confidence to fully participate in the development process of the country or our region. So that was my research topic. Um, other girls had to address you know, climate change, um, environmental issues, um, these women gender violence issues, HIV AIDS, all current um, development issues to the South Pacific region. This is much more than a beauty contest. We have, you know, intellect and brains. We want to say aloha and good day. We want to say to aloha, maloe. It's the first time the pageant's been held in Papua New Guinea, and the host city, Port Moresby, can't get enough of the Pacific Queens. 11 beautiful queens. The Isles of Smile. And that each day we would have three different visits, so that's three different dress changes and styling that comes with the pageant. You know, it's always it's good for all of us girls to be looking our best. Um, today we have been honoured to host um, 11 contestants of the South Pacific pageant. Um, they visit our, visited our humble village um, to see what it's like you know, a typical Motuan village in a traditional setting. That was the most amazing community visit that I've ever experienced. The Vavakuri village is so unique. It's a mini South Pacific <laughs> within our country. It's a traditional dance called the Imue. That originated from the Cook Islands. Now that happened when missionaries came onto the shores of Papua in the, in the 1800s. That's the connection that we have. And the other one is the Peraveta. Now the Peraveta is um, it's, it's actually prophet singing. Now that was also the influence from the South Pacific Islands, the Samoans and the Cook Islanders, they brought in. This is 
a pageant, but it's also a cultural exchange and bringing together us girls from all across the region. I'm sure the girls and their chaperones and their, their parties coming here and having this experience and taking that away now have a different picture of my country. <laughs> Papua New Guinea receives a lot of negative criticism and, and uh, publicity overseas and so their mindset before they came to our country was probably very one-sided but um, through the pageant I hope it's opened their eyes that there is much beautiful beauty here. The spirit of the island is what we share of giving and care. That message doesn't get out there and I hope these girls can take that message back to their countries, back to their communities, their families and share that. The other two categories up for judging include talent, which draws heavily on culture. And the Miss South Pacific pageant includes a sarong category, where a three metre piece of fabric is creatively fashioned into modest Pacifica swimwear. We have to work very, very hard to throw away uh, this uh, myth that it's just another beauty pageant. In fact, it is not. It's very, very substantial. It, it, it relies a lot on intelligence, uh, as much on intelligence and talent as it does on, uh, on beauty. And I think that the fact that Miss Papua New Guinea boldly painted her face in the colours of a bird of paradise, uh, you know, during the final stages of the pageant, I think that that's a great indication. We've been very proud of the achievement. In fact, if you look at the calibre of all the contestants this year, most of them were university graduates with very good de degrees. I think two of the top three had engineering degrees, one with honours. As I hand over our region's crown, I live with many full treasures in my heart. I have had experiences, made friendships, learned lessons of discipline and humility, and above all, a deepened appreciation for our Pacific culture. And now to crown our new Miss South Pacific, 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss South Pacific, 2010. Miss Cook Island. The pageant's significance in Melanesia and Micronesia has increased greatly with Mary Valesi Nailatikau. You would have heard her farewell speech. I think it's probably one of the best speeches by a Pacifica woman. And I think people who are skeptical, I think they would listen to that speech and change their perception. At the end of this week, we as young women have asked ourselves, what does it take to empower a Pacific woman? What does it take to empower a human being? And I propose this, that an empowered person is a person who empowers others. A person who learns from life's challenges, shares their lessons with others, and encourages them to strive for the better. In being empowered, let us empower one another as Pacifica to strive for a greater future. They come from their individual countries, but we're all facing the same kind of issues and we're all young, aspiring girls, but we still value our culture, our tradition, our families, our communities. This Miss South Pacific pageant embraced that on a whole for our region and it's so special. Queen of the Pacific sea. And that's Pacific Pulse for tonight from here at the Miss South Pacific pageant where one beautiful young girl's dream has just come true tonight. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.